inspiration, that sublime result that blossoms in the furrows of the professional who straps on the harness and plows the fields of his or her art. In Pressfield's words, when we sit down each day and do our work, power concentrates around us. I, I, I never wanted to go to art school. I, I meant to go to study medicine. <laughs> no, not that I didn't want to really, but I, I felt I wanted to, to, to be a doctor. I wanted to help people. We become like a magnetized rod that attracts iron filings. Ideas come, insights accrete. On this, the effect of inspiration, Steve and I absolutely agree. I, I felt great because here it is, I brought the work, all these kind of wonderful achievements in Europe and so on. And then they left and they came, never came again. And this made me question what I brought in from the slate, if it's not acceptable to people yeah. and they're not, not responding to it in any way. Indeed, stunning images and ideas arrive as if from nowhere. In fact, these seemingly spontaneous flashes are so amazing, it's hard to believe that our unworthy selves created them. From where, therefore, does our best stuff come? This is Allah never dies. This is the messages which I used to write, people understood. For them, it's far more readable and closer to them than any painting or anything else at all. The writing, the word, which means a lot to them. My message was to the people. It's called talent. The innate power to discover the hidden connection between two things, images, ideas, words. I think through time, it melted into the picture. You can find in the shape and create for the world a third, utterly unique work. I mix oil colors with uh, enamel paints. So by the time the surface of the enamel paint is dry, I start tickling it. So it wrinkles itself. I wanted to get the smell of the earth itself. Because as children, when we were taken to a new home, they make me smell the ground. They put their hand on the, on the ground and they make the, make the child smell to create the link with Mother Earth.